Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Learning Kitchen, we're gonna make some shashuka. Probably saying that wrong. In Italians, it would be like, uh, it's like the, in Italy, we've got something similar called eggs in purgatory. So, it's a very similar concept. I'm gonna be flavoring it with some chorizo, and smoked paprika, and chipotle powder, and it's just phenomenal. A great, great option if you are doing Whole30, or paleo, or anything like that, because it's using very minimal, uh, ingredients, there's no starch, there's no cheese, it's just fabulous. One tip is that you make this in the same pan that you want to serve it in because one, it's beautiful to look at and two, it's a little bit tricky to serve um, it, if you're not making it in the pan that you're serving it in, if that makes any sense. So, bear with me, okay? The list of ingredients is not very long. You will need some chopped onion, garlic. What I have here is some bulk chorizo. This is some fresh chorizo sausage. I removed the casing. Um, what I have here is some smoked paprika, chipotle chili powder, and some cumin. I don't need the garlic. I already chopped it. I've got some um, crushed tomatoes and just a little bit of uh, water. You can use chicken stock, vegetable stock, beef stock. You'll need eggs, olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of cilantro to serve it with. And that is it. It's really easy and simple. If you are feeling fancy and you are not trying to make this for a Whole30 or Paleo um, friendly, then you, I would love it if you would top this with some feta because it's divine. So, let's get to it. I've got my shallow pan here with a little bit of olive oil kind of coming to temperature. And to it, I'm gonna go ahead, it's not totally high yet, but it's getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chorizo. Now this is insanely delicious. It's already flavored with things like smoked paprika and garlic so that when you add this to your pan on the heat, you can almost immediately smell the fragrance from like those spices um, and you know, whatever else they added in there. It's phenomenal. It's a great way to add flavor to pretty much anything is to use chorizo. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this until it's just about all the way cooked through and then we move on to the next step. My chorizo is about halfway cooked through. You can see all the spices and the that paprika and, and all of that that comes out and just goes right into the oil. That's gonna add so much flavor. But I wanna cook my onion and garlic in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. Beautiful. If you're gonna be using chorizo, if you're doing a Whole30 or Paleo, it's sure it's compliant, of course. Add those right in. And then just kind of cook all this together until the onions and the garlic soften and become a little translucent and all that fun stuff. That looks good enough. I'm gonna add my spices. Always add your spices to your oil and just sort of mix them around for a couple seconds to really have those, so that those oils and the spices can really bloom and wake up. Wow, it smells, I mean, honestly smells insanely good and I can tell that this particular chorizo also has like a very small amount of cinnamon in it. I know it sounds crazy, but I can smell it. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and add my crushed tomatoes and my water. I'm gonna mix those around. Add that in. Give everything a really good tossy toss, just like a salt. Beautiful, I'm going to go ahead and season this with a pinch of salt. I'm going to partially cover this and then just let it simmer about 15 minutes or so on about medium low. And then I'll show you the next set. Partially covered, not all the way. Eh, medium heat. I'm hungry. Wanna eat dinner kinda soon. Let that go. After 15 minutes partially covered, this is what you are looking for. It's really thick and lovely. So now we need our eggs. I'm gonna do five here because I think I'll be able to fit five perfectly in this pan. So move that out of the way. And what I do, first of all, you wanna crack each one into a little ramekin. Okay, that's what I do anyway. And then you just kinda make a, like a little, like a little well, okay? Then you pop your egg in. And you're just gonna do that four or five times, however many eggs you're wanting to fit in your pan. And then what you do is you cover your pan with a lid and you let these cook for, I would say, nah, seven to eight minutes. 
it really all depends on how you like your eggs. If you like them like really runny, then you're gonna wanna cook them less. If you like them fully cooked through, then you wanna cook them until they're fully cooked through. Totally up to you. Also, before you add the eggs, make sure that you taste the sauce to make sure that you don't need any additional seasoning. Mine was perfect. I just added a touch more salt, and I'm going to add more salt and pepper to the eggs so that they are really nicely flavored. And aside from that, it's really simple. Now, the dish will sort of change a little depending on how your sausage is flavored. So don't panic. Uh, if sometimes it's spicier than others because it really does all depend on how spicy your chorizo is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pepper and salt the eggs, lid on, and let them cook until they're pretty much fully cooked through. Look at that. Huh? Now, cook these however long your heart desires, okay? If you want them really runny, then cook them for five, six minutes. If you like them medium runny, seven minutes. If you like them well, 10 minutes. No, the choice is yours. I like to give people options, you know? Oh, these are looking perfect. I like a little jiggle in mine, okay? Oh, yes. You want that sauce to reduce. You don't want it to be too thin. Oh, terrible presentation, I know. But you know, that's not how I'm gonna serve it to the table. <laughs> I can feel you laughing on the other side. I don't care. All it needs is cilantro, some pita, but if you're doing Whole30 or paleo, pita is terrible. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. Some nice like um, spiced yogurt alongside would be really well delicious. If you don't like a runny yolk, you're not gonna wanna look at this, but trust me, it is smelling so good in here, and this is how I like my egg. So. The flavor combination is dynamite. The smoked paprika with the cumin, with the spicy smokiness from the chipotle and the chorizo together is just like insanity. It makes this dish absolutely incredible and it takes humble ingredients like tomato, like tomato sauce and eggs with a little chorizo and turns it into something really fantastic. Serve this for brunch, lunch, breakfast, a beautiful dinner, you name it, it will be very well received. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com for the written recipe. This is so good. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye.